And now for our dinosaur of the day, a Loro Titan, which was a request from Braced via Facebook. And I hope I pronounced your name correctly. We looked it up. I'm not sure. So it was a Lambiosaurian hadrosaur that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now far eastern Russia, found in the Sagayan Formation. Braced shared with us a photo that he took at the Museum of Natural Science in Brussels, and it's known as the Russian Swan of Hadrosaurs. It's got a long neck and a battle axe shaped crest. That sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the name means gigantic swan. There's only one species, Alora Titan Naharensis, and the species name refers to where the fossils were found in Arhara County. It was described in 2003 by Pascal Godfrey, Yuri Bolotsky, and Vladimir Alifanov. The holotype consists of a nearly complete skeleton, and it's the most complete lambiosaurine found outside of Western North America and one of the most complete dinosaurs found in Russia. It's missing its hands and feet, probably because there were scavengers that ate them before Alora Titan was buried. Just the hands and feet? That's kind of weird. It's probably missing some ribs, too, I'm guessing. Could be. At the end of the Mesozoic, Lambiosaurines were numerous and diverse in Asia, but not in North America. This suggests that the climates in Asia and North America were different at the time. Alora Titan had a long neck, 18 vertebrae, and before Alora Titan was found, the longest hadrosaur neck that was known had 15 vertebrae. Although... Number of vertebrae doesn't necessarily mean length of neck because we have the same number of neck vertebrae as a giraffe does. <laughs> it's true. Because they're just huge vertebrae. <laughs> but still, if it has more. Yeah. So its battle axe or hatchet-shaped crest points backward, and that's different from other hadrosaurs with crests. This crest may have been used for attracting mates or to let others know that they were the same species. It had a hollow structure, which may have allowed it to make low-frequency calls. The crest expands from the nasal bones. And if this is true, it would be similar to what scientists think Parasaurolophus could do. However, parts of the crest found were fragmentary or crushed, so it's unclear what route the nasal passage took. We would need to find another skull to know for sure. Allura Titan had a stiff tail, though it's unclear if they all had stiff tails or if this one had a pathology. We'd need to find more specimens to know for sure. Mm. Allura Titan was large. It may have grown up to 26 feet or 8 meters long. It was bipedal and quadrupedal. And it was an herbivore that could grind its food with its hundreds of teeth that were continuously replaced. It's found to be most closely related to Corythosaurus and Hypocrosaurus. Other animals that lived in the same time and place were Lambiosaurines, Caronosaurus, and Amurosaurus, the Hadrosaurine Kerberosaurus, as well as theropods, nodosaurids, turtles, and crocodilians. 